Hello everybody and welcome to my Let's Play. This is episode 13 of season 3. Where we left off last time, we, was, we were going ahead and setting up the systems in here. As you can see, I've gone ahead and done a few crystals through the system. And built up a decent amount of viz. And as you can see, as I said, the pipes will eventually be semi-hidden. Um, so we've done pretty much everything in this sort of section I wanted to do for the moment. What I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to go ahead and start trying to get a uh, system to get all my stuff in. And get a crafting system built. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to try and go and grab some wood. And actually I might use the jungle wood, because I don't like the colour when I turn it back into the stuff. Let's just go ahead and get the jungle wood out of there. First thing we're going to be doing is turning these into sticks. Oops, I should probably do this in a normal crafting bench, so I don't have to worry about that. So I can get the right sh uh, shift right clicking working. So shift left clicking at least. Go ahead and turn a decent amount of these into gears. We're going to need a lot of gears in the future, so 32 gears is good there. Uh, do I have cobblestone around? Yes, I do. Cool. So let's go ahead and turn 32 of those into cobblestone gears, and that should be good. Okay, and the next thing we're going to need is we need to pop downstairs and grab some of our ores. Um, I'm going to need some iron, some gold, and let's turn that thing off. And that one off. Okay, I'm going to need some gold and some iron. I'm going to need some tin later on as well. Um, and I'm going to need some diamonds as well. So, I did have diamonds somewhere. Where did I put them? There they go. There's my diamonds. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is take... I'm going to do two of these. I'm going to upgrade them to iron gears. So we get two of those. And then we're going to upgrade those to gold gears. Oops. Mouse is not working very well today, it's a bit jumpy. So two gold gears. I've got glass, I've got diamonds. I'm going to need a piece of glass in the middle, two diamonds, one on either side. Make me some diamond pipes, I'm pretty sure I already have some, but it doesn't matter. I'm also going to need some more sticks. So let's go ahead and make a couple of sticks. And we're going to need some redstone, so we've got some there. I'm going to need two to start off with. So go and chuck those into there, redstone on top. And should be able to go ahead and put a diamond pipe in the middle. Go ahead and put a gold pipe, uh, gold gear on either side, redstone torch on top and bottom, and around the corners with glass. And that'll give me my first set of logistics pipes. Now these things are really, really cool. The texture pack on here, unfortunately, is not the best texture pack. But um, I'm going to see if I can try and get that fixed at some point in time. But what we can do with these, at the moment they are pretty much useless to me. Uh, they don't do much on their own. But what I can do is grab some glowstone. And I'm going to go ahead and pop some of this stuff. And I think it's on top to make provider pipes. Yep, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and make up some of those. So four should be okay for the moment, I guess. I'm also going to need to make a request pipe, which is this one here, and that's two more gold gears, so let me get that sorted. Um, I'm going to need some more iron, I've got that already, so let's go ahead and make two more of these up. Okay, so two gold gears and a basic logistics pipe causes me to have one of those. So I'm going to put that probably right about here. And I'm going to drill that hole there and out like so. Hopefully if I can get the right angle of this. What I want to do is run some piping back that way. And let's go through over the behind here. I'm just going to try and make this look kind of, uh, kind of handy. So I'm going to go like this, and I think it was this height here. Oops, what did I do there? There we go, there we, it's not quite what we want. That's the height we wanted there. Okay, that's all good, all well and good. Right, so I've got that sorted. I'm going to go ahead and grab myself some cooked stone, which if I have some already made up, there's some stone, cool. Going to get myself a little bit of stone tubing, or stone piping at least. So there we go. Now stone piping is a bit different from cobblestone piping. Stone piping will hold a uh, higher speed. So if I can speed it up at some point, that will actually keep it going a bit faster. can probably get away with pretty much using any kind of uh, pipe here that I want. 
Uh, so it is, yeah, because basically the pipe doesn't require to be very fast here. But what I'm going to do is... No, I don't need to go that far. I need to come to this one here. So let's go ahead and put it down from here. Right, now, what we're going to do is we're going to chuck these things like so. We're going to go one, two... And I can go, at the moment, with a space between those, because I'm not using those at the moment. And chuck those like that. And I actually need a few more, but that's okay. I can make some of that. And because there is no junction here at the moment, I can just go ahead and put another cobblestone here. Now, I'm going to have to go ahead and get my wrench out, which is there. And by having that system there now, if I right-click on there, it shows me all the items that I have that are connected to the chest that are now connected there. So, that's all cool. Let me go ahead and grab that stone and just make a bit of a clean-up. So I'm just going to basically cover over the hole like this. So what I can do is, if I want to go ahead and get myself a piece of bronze, or brass at least, I can just go and get two brass out of there. And it will go through the system and drop down to me. I can grab them and I can craft for them. So that's the first step of what I'm going to be doing. Second step is I'm going to have to go ahead and make up some more of these pipes because I want to be able to get the rest of it through here. And I'm also going to need to get some more paints, and I'm going to need to paint these other ones down here for the other colours. And get some chests in there, and separate this two out here as well. And then the next thing I'm going to do after that is I'm going to go pretty much for a big long run through, and I'm going to try and get my quarry, which should be actually having a bit of problems with uh, space at the moment, because I have left it running for a little bit. Um, I better check on that soon, actually. Uh, I'm going to get my piping system from that to go through into my uh, sorting system. So hopefully I can get that to go through because I'm going to be going through buildcraft pipes through to uh, through to normal through to uh, buildcraft pipes. So buildcraft pipes through to pneumatic tubing. So it's going to be a bit of an interesting uh, thing I've never done before. But definitely still running fine. I topped up the engines a while ago and they are almost out of fuel. So I actually got them up to full. So it's been running quite a bit and getting a decent amount of stuff out of here, but primarily not as much as I thought I would. Hopefully we've still got a bit of ways to go down. I can see. Uh, I haven't gotten that deep. It's definitely running well though. Uh, I did go ahead and fix up. There was one bit more of uh, vine that was sticking out over the side, so I had to clean that up. So, let me go ahead and quickly create up some uh, more of those pipes, of the basic logistics pipes, and then I'm also going to go ahead and start digging my way through to the quarry, and sleep through the night by the looks of things. Should go ahead... Oh, I did uh, forget to tell you, I've gone ahead and upgraded my solar panels a bit. I still don't have quite enough power. But I uh, added a few more in there. Soon I should be able to get... Uh, is it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Oh, I can make one of those into a uh, medium vo uh, low voltage solar array if I wanted to. Might do that at some stage shortly too. Okay, let me sleep through the night and quickly get myself sorted for these, this piping, and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I've gone ahead and uh, started to carve myself a tunnel, an access tunnel out to the... Um, out of the quarry. I'm going to have to make sure I close that up so that we don't get monsters spawning through there. And so the next thing for me to do is to go ahead and first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and create myself up a couple more chests. And I want to turn these couple more chests into iron chests. So let's go ahead and quickly do that. So two more iron chests. So we've got that. I'm going to go place one here and one here. And then we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves out. Uh, no, I've already made that. I made some more of those, so 11 of those. And we're going to want to make a couple more of these. Probably let's just go make another four. So another four provider pipes. And hopefully that will be enough. If not, we can make some more. I made up another set of eight, so that way it was nice and easy to use. But that's probably not going to be enough, because I'm going to need an extra one. Yep, definitely going to need an extra one. So we're going to knock those two out of there like that. Chuck one there, oops, chuck one onto there like that, and I'm going to need one more provider pipe. Luckily this particular recipe can be done, oops, not diamond pipe, jeez. Alright, there we go, one more provider pipe, and that goes there like so. Now if I go ahead and hit the wrench, I should get a chance to see all of the inventory and everything there. So there should be quite a lot of stuff I can get out of that. Cool, I'm very, 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 very happy with that. Okay, and now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and start laying down this uh, cobblestone, no, not cobblestone, the stone piping at least. I'm going to go down the wall here like this and just going to run it all the way out. I'm going to come back across here a little bit later on and replace some of these with uh, gold pipes to get the speed up. Because what I want is I want to be able to start piping this stuff through. Now I'm going to have to find a way to actually bring 
my stuff from uh, pipes through to tubes. Oops, I've gone a little bit too far. Right. So now I'm going to go across from here like so. So there, down here. Join that up like that. And I'm going to need to make myself some stairs to get out of here. So we should be able to go ahead and do this sort of system here like this. Probably knock that one off for the moment because I don't really want to have that uh, accidentally sitting through there just yet. It's not going to need a place to go to and I'll end up with everything spilling onto the floor. Um, so I'm going to quickly go ahead and just plan out exactly what I'm going to do about getting it transferred from pipes to tubes and get some food into me as well. So I'll be back once i figure that out and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so after a bit of playing in my test world, what I need to do is I need to go ahead and get myself a transposer. The transposer is made with a piston, some wood, and some cobblestone and some redstone. Awesome. Let me go ahead and get that sorted. Oh, there's a piston there. Sweet. Should actually go ahead and start using my new system. So I need uh, two, two wood, which is perfect. Grab two of those. Piece of redstone. I've already got the piston, and I need some cobblestone, which I should already have in my inventory. Three... Pieces is not enough. Hmm, let's go ahead and grab myself a couple more pieces of cobblestone. Let's go with two more pieces, there we go. Let's get started to make this one here up. So we're going to go ahead and put the redstone at the bottom, piston in the middle, cobblestone to bottom, three across the top, and wood. I had plenty of wood on me, never mind. And there we go, we have a transposer. Now what I'm going to do is the transposer is going to go right here, like so. Then I'm going to go ahead and this is going to be the part that's a wee bit on the messy side, unfortunately. No. Not happy with that. Hmm. No, I'm going to do a wee bit of a change around with this. Let's go ahead and knock you off there. And you off there as well. We're going to expand this out this way. I'm not really too happy with the way that was looking. So instead I'm going to go up this pipe here, there. And we're going to then be able to pop our transposer on here like so. Damn it. Do I have my screwdriver on me? Let's see if we can find a screwdriver. There it is there. Request that out of the thing. Save me looking through my chests. I love logistics. It is so much cool. Right. Let's go ahead and rotate that to that way. And I'm going to go from down here like so. I'm going to take this one out of here like that, and this is the first time I'm going to be making one of these. I've never really used these for this before. So I'm going to make up some gold transport pipes, and what we're going to do is pop a gold transport pipe here. And I didn't grab another piece of redstone. Let me quickly grab one more piece of redstone. And one more piece. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this system to go ahead and make it so that... Drop that on the ground for the moment that is accelerated. So as it comes through here, it's going to hit that pipe and it's going to go fast. Now we're going to have other ones down along the way, which will be fine. Um, let's just go ahead and do that. I'm just going to whip my way down. I'm probably going to need more redstone. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and make myself a, probably about a six or so things and also eat because I forgot to eat. And I will come back to you once I've got that sorted. So give me a few minutes. Okay, I found a small problem that I've gone ahead and made. Because I've gone ahead and put these chests in here and forgotten to colorize these things, it's now picking randomly between the magenta path that it's supposed to pick and the closest non-colored path. So half of my stuff will, over time, half of my stuff, a percent of it will go into that one there. So what we're going to need to do is figure out what colors we need to use for the rest of these. So I've got magenta, green, blue, light, light green with lime, and white. I'm going to have to go ahead and have some fiddling around. I'm probably going to go with yellow and a few other colors. So let me go, go ahead and figure out what colors I can make up with what I've got. Um, I've got some black, so I can probably make up something with that. I've got some that and that. And I'm probably going to have to go hunting for some other colors, but we'll see what we can come up with. And once I've done that, I'm going to get some more paint sorted. So I'm going to need to make some more tin plates, which I don't think I've got any floating around. I've got four. Okay. So we've got white, magenta, blue, light green, lime, green and red. So what other paint cans have we got? We have also got, so we've got the, the, got the grey, light grey, I can probably make up those two in black paint, I can make up that. In fact that's probably all we need, because how many do we need? We need a total of one, two, three, four. We need four of them. 
So if I get four colours, so that'll be black, grey, light grey, and one other colour, maybe brown, I can't make brown at the moment. Uh, purple, what does purple require? Purple requires, ah, rose red and lepus. Let's go ahead and make that one as well. So I'm just going to make up those colours and get that painted, so I'll be back once I've done that. Okay, so I should have everything I need now to make up these extra colours. Oops, no, not quite. I need some wool, which I should have there. Let's grab four pieces of wool and let's grab some sticks. Uh, I probably should have grabbed more than the that. Let's grab the last two sticks. Cool, we should have enough now, hopefully. Go ahead and chuck those there like so. Grab yourself some painters, or some paint brushes at least. Right, so I've got the uh, paint cans. Let's go and chuck that like that. I'm going to need a black paint. I just realised I should have grabbed one more ink sack. So grab an ink sack. While I'm waiting for that, I'll have a red with a blue, which will cause me to have purple. So I can get that sorted. I'm going to need to clear some space. Let's just get some of this junk out of here for the moment. I'll have to resort it shortly. Then get some of my meat back. Okay, so hopefully we have everything we need now. Because I should be able to go ahead and do that to get a purple paint. So purple, black, going to need that and bone meal to make grey. And I need one of those and a piece of white to make light grey. So that, two of those, I need a few more of those there, so let's do that. There we go, that gives me light grey. And then I should also have just grey dye. And the final paint can. There we go. So that's all cool. So now we've got this. We're going to go ahead and turn. We're going to run out of space. <laughs> Damn, inventory is too small. Okay, let's just get rid of the coal sticks, tin plates. That should be good. Okay, so we've done red already. We've done green. So we want grey paint to make a paintbrush. We want light grey to make a paintbrush. We then want purple and make it a paintbrush. And finally black and make that a paintbrush. So that gives us the four colours we need to make everything else segregated. So let's go quickly paint those up. And we should be all good then. So things will stop going into the wrong paths. So let's go pop one there. And then we're going to go grey and black and let's go light grey there so not really in any particular order I'm just go magenta green dark grey black blue lime light grey purple and white so it means now what we can do is we can get some of this stuff sorted so that if it uh if we want it to go in certain areas we can but at the moment we don't need to really worry too much about some of the stuff that's in here i will get that sorted further in the future Let's get all these paintbrushes out of here, and now let's go ahead and hook up our uh, quarry to the system here. So I'll be back once I've got the piping laid. Okay, so I'm probably being a wee bit excessive here, but what I'm doing is just quickly going ahead and placing down some of these uh, gold pipes. I just want to get things sped up nice and quick. These things are still running, and this is almost full. So that's very, very nice to know that that's done. Uh, what I'm probably going to do, instead of actually having to move that manually, I'm probably going to go ahead and make myself a wooden pipe. Do I have any wood on me at the moment? No, I don't. I'm also going to need to make myself a wooden uh, wooden engine as well, a redstone engine. What I'm going to do is pipe that stuff out of there. So let's quickly go ahead and grab a piston. Sure, I have some gold, uh, some wooden gears already made that I haven't converted up. Let's see, piston, and we should have. Here we go. I've got two of those, so let's grab two of those. And do I have any wood on me? No, I don't, but I can reach it from here. One, two, three. Right, one, two, three pieces of wood along the top. Good gear at the bottom of each corner. Glass in the middle. That there, like so. Redstone engine. I'm going to need two more pieces of wood. Being lazy, should just walk over and grab it, but never mind. I also need a piece of redstone. I love logistics, as I've already said before. It's so handy. So let's go ahead and do that. Red uh, wood on either side. It makes a wooden transport pipe. We need redstone. What do I need redstone for? Ah, oh, that's right, for a redstone torch. There we go. So we've got that. We've got the engine. We've got the last bit of piping that we need. I think we have everything we need to get the system connected. Let's just get down there. 
Uh, once I get down to here, I'm also going to have to say I'm going to have to probably put a door on here so that I can get through here without having things spawn through, because as you can see it's getting night time. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm actually going to go like this to start with, and pump like this. I could probably actually just have done it like that actually. Ah, uh, no. Need the wooden pipe to go there, which is there. So let's go ahead and pop the wooden pipe right on this part. And pop you like so. Whack you with a wrench. And that should have things piping out of there. So that should start piping out. Oh cool, we're getting obsidian. Nice. Just going to go ahead and grab some of this marble out of here, just so I don't overfill the thing. I don't want to end up with it filling up before I can empty it. So I'm just going to leave that going at the moment. That'll take a wee while to empty the chest, but that should get it through, and we'll soon start seeing it pop through as soon as it starts getting through the red, uh, sorry, the gold here. Should start seeing it zip down through the piping, and should see it zip all the way along here. It's almost going faster than I can run. Probably very hard to see on YouTube, but it is going to do it. You'll see it pop up there. Sweet! So, we should see that, and now I just realised one other problem, and that is my chest here for this is almost full. Let's go ahead and find a chest to put this marble into for the moment. i pop that into here for the moment, probably make this my fancy blocks. Trademark direwolf. <laughs> right, so we should see things coming spitting through here, it should go popping into that. And going green, green should be to, where is that going to? Green should be going to the one we want it to, which is there, which we would expect to be one, two, three, four, and that would be expected to be my cobblestone one. So we should see things coming into there. Four. There we go. Perfect. So I think my first thing I'm going to have to do now is go here and make another upgrade, because I'm going to run out of space very fast. Uh, let's see if we've got... Um, I'm just trying to think quickly. What do we need? We need an upgrade, so we need to go for the gold to diamond chest upgrade, which will be one of those. So it's a piece of gold, two diamonds, and some glass. I can do that. It's nice and easy. Okay, two pieces of gold. No, one piece of gold. <laughs> Oops. Uh, fancy, fancy items. Rare and important items. Two glass for that. Okay, so two diamonds, piece of gold, and glass all around. Makes an upgrade for gold diamond. Let's go here to make sure we've got the right one. Cool. And upgrade that, and that should give me quite a bit more space. Look at that. So that'll give me a wee bit of leeway. I'm going to leave that running. Um, we're going to have to see where other things are coming running in from. But that's definitely very cool. Um, next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be utilizing something that I started making and then it hit. I want to go through into here, and I want to go down another set of stairs. Because what I want down here is I want to be able to go from this and back around underneath here because I'm going to have to make some sort of crafting system. So I'm going to go ahead and make that up now. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is get the stairwell done. So let me go ahead and finish that up quickly, get to the right level, and I will come back once I've done that. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and crafted myself a little bit of a cave system down through here. It's not going to be anything too big and flash just yet. I'm just going to go down here like so. I'm going to make this a bit wider out this direction. Probably go out a good, uh, you know, good thick room size down through here. But I just don't have the time to do in this episode, unfortunately. Oops, and I keep cutting into areas I shouldn't be in. So I think that'll probably be about as far as I go with that. So that might be a good guide, actually. And what I'm going to do is down here is going to be where I'm going to be doing my crafting system as well as something to deal with extra excess cobble and stuff like that that I don't need once I've got too much. So the first thing I'm going to do after I've just done that little bit like that, I'm just sort of tinkering while I'm talking. I'm going to head back upstairs, I'm going to try and find out where I put my pneumatic tubing. I'm also going to quickly find out where it is my uh, piping goes down. So let's quickly grab my pneumatic tubing, there's only seven pieces of it. Okay, well that's certainly not as much as I thought I had, but it's super good. I've got a little bit of space, thank goodness. Cool, got that. Let's go ahead and just dump my cobblestone into there. Sounds like it's gotten morning time. Work through the night. And I'm also going to go over to here, and I'm just going to go straight down like so. Hopefully my backpack will, or my drill will last long enough. And down to there, one more. Should be enough, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and place this down here like so. And there we go. Now because this piece here in this corner is going to become a junction, I'm going to need a basic logistics pipe to go here. 
because what this does is it tells whatever items come to this point here which direction to go. So right now it will tell everything to go up because the only thing that's requesting it is from the pipe above. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop back downstairs and I've got my pneumatic tube which is cool. I also need to make a uh, few more things. Let's grab some wood from here. Should be checking to see how we're getting on. Cobblestone still coming through. It's pretty much just cobblestone I think at the moment. Have to wait for that thing to build up speed so that it'll actually start spitting out more stuff than that. I'm not quite liking that actually. Um, however, I do need to go ahead and put back this timer back to here. I just suddenly realised I forgot all about that. Timer to go there like so. And I did have my lever on me as well, so I get the lever to go there and turn that off. Thank you. Right, so we've got pneumatic tubing, we've got some cobblestone piping, I've got some wood. Let's go ahead and make a, couple, a crafting bench. And I'm going to need some gears. I'll quickly go ahead and make a couple of gears. And do that. Grab some wood, wood. Right, there we go. Make up four gears. And I'm going to turn one of these crafting meters into an auto crafting table. Oops. There we go like that, and I'm going to grab myself a wee bit more wood because I just realised I used up almost all that wood. Okay, let's head back downstairs, and what I'm going to do is right where this comes out, that's where we're going to start our system. So I'm probably actually going to drill like that, and we're going to start off by putting down pipes along here. So we're going to go ahead and temporarily put this down here, I want to make sure that I've got that, and I didn't grab, damn it, I didn't grab any of the glowstone, I left glowstone upstairs, let me quickly grab that. Now, the reason why I need glowstone is it's another recipe for another kind, another type of uh, logistics pipe, so if I go ahead and put uh, glowstone on either side, and a logistics pipe in the middle, I'll get myself a crafting logistics. Go ahead and place that there like so, pick up my crafting table and pop that onto the like that. And if I go ahead now and create up a couple of you, put that into there like so. Now if I hit that with a wrench and go import, it will tell it now that if I add four sticks into that, it will give me a wooden gear. Um, what I'm probably going to need to do as well is I'm probably going to need a lot more of these. So let's go ahead and make up a bunch more. I'm probably going to need at least three to get me started I think, so let's grab that out like so and let's go ahead and grab out enough for that, should be hopefully enough pop down a crafting table for temporary pop you into, oops, not the side I'm wanting, I want that to go there like so that should be eight gears, thank you very much pick you back up again so it's just going to grab this out of here for a second because what I need to do is I need to turn these into them as well. So let's go ahead and do this like so. Damn it, I thought I had enough. Never mind. So let's quickly make up a couple more of these. Definitely going to need more. This is something that's going to be a work in progress. Um, being that red power is pretty much the last mod that I'm waiting for before I can move up to the next uh, version, we may be getting close to the end of the series, but... Uh, Definitely keen on doing uh, a lot more stuff, but uh, I really want to move up to that. But it's a few things that I'm hoping to get into the uh, 1.3 version before I start on it. Just going to pop those there like that. Okay, so what I should get is if I go like so, I have two pieces of wood, and I'm using jungle wood because it's probably the most easy to get at the moment. Uh, I'll probably have to change that later because I'm going to use tree farms instead. And then once I've got that, I'm going to go ahead and do that like so, which give me that. I also want to have... Oops, what have I done wrong? I missed one. Oops. <laughs> I'll go this back out here. I'm just trying to be in a bit of a, a sort of a, a good amount of order. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for the, for the wooden gears. I'm also going to go ahead and use this again. I'm going to use the same kind of wood for a crafting table. And now what I should be able to do is if I pop upstairs, I should be able to use my wrench knock on that one there, go to craft, I want to craft oops, no, not quite finished always forget to do this part, this is the thing you need to do, the most important thing you need to go ahead and click on there and import the recipe for the right chest uh, right crafting table at least, and it would have messed up anyway because that one there was wrong so now I have that system there 
And what I also need to do as well is there should be at some point in time I need to put another chest in, but I'll do that shortly. So gonna go ahead here. If I click on this one down here, change it from both to craft. I should just better go ahead and go craft me let's say eight of those, request successful. If I pop back downstairs quickly, I should see some uh, items flowing around through the pipes. A little bit difficult under here, but you see wood and everything flowing back and forward around here. And then out comes the crafting table, and there should be a few of them sitting up the top. I probably should reverse this so I can see the pipes, because it is fun to watch them. And there we go, there's the eight of those. Just like that. So now I have... Ah, uh, whoops, I have nine of those, just, uh, just that, damn it. I forgot that I hadn't made the next step. If I just go ahead and pop this into, say, I'll pop it in here with the wood chest to be honest. All except for one. So if I go down and create up, hang on, if I go ahead and create up myself, if I grab four of those, theoretically two should come out from there that are already made, and then two should get made. So two should come out first. Wait for a few seconds and another two come out. Pop the crafting bench in the middle, gears top, bottom, left and right. Create another work, automatic crafting bench. Back in another one of these logistics pipes, and there we go. Now if I pop it downstairs, this is the last step I want to do. This is probably about as far as I can go today. I've got a little bit more I can get done in the next episode. I'm going to try and get that done as soon as possible. I do apologise for how long the, the gap was between these. Um, the reason for that is because I've been dealing with my, well not dealing with, but my daughter went in for a operation for the hospital, so she's been in a bit of recovery, and then after all that went on, then the next thing you know, my uh, whole family, including my mother who visited, to uh, come down and help out, all get sick as well, so it wasn't a great deal of fun. So if I grab one of those, and I grab four more uh, of the cogs, should have done this while I was up here the first time, four more cogs, those to arrive. One, two, three, four. Lovely. Now if I head back downstairs and pop into here and now I've made myself an automatic way to make automatic crafting tables. So kind of a little bit counterintuitive at the moment, or counterproductive at least, but it means that I can go ahead and expand that system very very quickly because I can just now go ahead and request Let's go ahead and request four more of the um, automatic crafting benches and they'll go ahead and get crafted up. And because they're successful it means I've got plenty of wood, but my wood is running low so I'm going to have to go get some more of that soon. And one, two, three, here comes the fourth one. So just like that. So with that I'm going to end the episode. We've made quite a bit of progress. We've done a bit more of an advance advancement on my sort of system. Fixed a few of my bugs that I had in it, got myself the beginnings of my auto crafting system, uh, as well as my auto request system. I'm going to have to go ahead and do something more about power generation, because the next thing I want to do down there is going to be flowing down from the other end of this pipe, down here, is the reason why there's a hole here. I want to head down that direction at some point in time very soon, so that'll be very cool. There's a few things I want to do down there. But until next time, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button if you like this video. Um, yeah, so made some pretty good progress. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I will catch you later.